I just like saying the word cantilever. It's cantilever. Okay, next up we've got the electronics. Notice you don't see any electronics on the outside here. That's on our last machine we have them on the outside, which is fun for hacking on them. But you know what? When you're when you're traveling with them, it kind of makes it look like a bomb, and I know about this firsthand. <laughs> Three out of five TSA employees now want to buy a MakerBot. <laughs> so, we have Generation 4 Electronics. We built the Generation 3 Electronics actually for the RepRap community and then used it on the MakerBot. And Gen 4 are absurdly upgraded. It is much better. You're gonna have, you're gonna have no comms problems. We used to use a USB to TTL cable, which yeah. traveled at a, a, a grand whopping 9,600 9, baud, which is like really slow. It's like 1986 modem speed. Now we use a straight up USB, and it's super fast. Um, it uses the Arduino Mega, which is great. We all love the Arduino Mega. It's powerful. It's great, and it has um, a lot of expansive. You can, you're going to be able to expand it. If you're a tinkerer, you can expand it a lot. Uh, the stepper drivers. We used to just have step stepping drivers. Now we have micro stepping drivers. What that means is right now. You can print, and the, the, the resolution, how accurately you can place that, that tool head, is about, well, it is exactly 299.6 dots per inch. With micro-stepping, we multiply that times 16. What's 300 times 16? 4,800? 4, 4,800 DPI. I mean, that's a large number. Okay. Um, Let's see, is there anything else I can tell you about it? Oh, 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 it has, we used to have, um, and we, we originally started, we had end stops on it. And they were, um, we thought we were being really cool because they were um, light activated end stops. And that was great until you had it in a really bright room. And then the machine would just automatically stop because light would leak into those end stops and that was no fun. So now we have, uh, we have um, switches that are mechanical end stops. So basically, it also, besides being automatic and doing things over and over again, you don't have to, you, you can just start, it centers itself, it goes home and it knows exactly where it is. You can set it up so it begins. You can just load it something in, it begins. You don't have to do any calibration. You're good to go. For those of you with make, how many of you have MakerBots in the audience? One, two, three. Awesome. Come over and see our, us at the MakerBot tent. For, uh, all of you should actually come see us at the MakerBot tent. We're uh, in this fabrication area. If you go over here into the left, we're kind of in the back corner, but we've got like, an absurd amount of machine machines right here. Come check us out. I think I was about to say something. Right, end stops. Any questions? Ooh. Yes, in the back. Can it make shoes? <laughs> Can it make models of a shoe? Yes and yes. The limitation is, I would estimate that the sh biggest shoe it could make is about that big. So, let's, uh, let's can I see your feet? Oh, I think we'd have to print that out in two parts. <laughs> Like a model of a shoe. Yeah, you can make a shoe that size, no problem. In fact, you can make a lot of them. Okay, uh, the last price, the last question was price. How much does it cost? Um, the cupcake started out at 950, and then we just brought it down to 649, and then now this one starts at 1225. So this is a full meal deal, everything you need for the absolute cutting edge 3D printing technology right now. Get started in personal manufacturing. What? Make things. It's so much fun. It's great. Is there anything? Price. Twelve twenty-five. Yes. So when he, well, I'll just repeat the question. Can, if you want to change colors. Will it stop at the right place and tell you to put the, switch the color in? Now, I w what I would say is, uh, well, nobody's ever asked me that before. That's never been requested. But I know that it can be done. So nobody's done that hack. You could be the first one. And then you would be the guy, you would be the color changing guy who's responsible for that. That's one of my favorite things is when people ask me questions, can it do it? 
and I and I and I'd never heard that idea before, and I get to say you could be that person who blazes that trail into the personal manufacturing future. How long does it take to build? Well, we've built a few of them, three so far, and the first one took about uh, nine hours of, of personal time, but the next one took like six and a half, seven. So uh, we, we, we say, just like with a cupcake, that you should plan to spend a weekend with a friend and either uh, you know, a two liter of, of caffeinated beverage or uh, a six pack of your choice, depending on your age and affinity. Um, any other questions? When? When? Ah, so they are actually, while I was talking to you, they went up for sale in the store. So, but in terms of shipping, there's a, we'll ship them in seven weeks. So if you order them now, we'll ship it in seven weeks. That's like mid-November, and we'll get it off to you. And um, we're just waiting on, we've got all our prototypes and everything's all done and everything's locked in, and we've ordered everything, and as soon as we get it in, we'll put it together and send it off to you. Cool. Yes? Um, how small of a hollow space is uh, in a model like this? Ah, how small of a model? There are some limitations. I mean, how, how small is the instant, like, if you want to make a bowl or a spear, that's yeah. small. Yeah. How small of a hollow space is no. a hollow space? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. That's a metric I've never no. heard before. I would say very, 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 very small. But you could make a tiny flute. And if it, and if it was frustrated because it was too tiny, you could make it a little bit bigger and see if it worked then. That's the beauty of it. You can just load it into our software replicator gear, which is, so, is free and open source, and it's got a scale option. So you can be like, how tiny can this go? Wow. Scale it on down, and then you can move the slider over. Well, how big can it go? Yeah, you could do both. Yes, sir. Yeah, if you have a non-support section on top, and you can change the digital, you put a something that will be sold, ready to support that part. We're working on that. That's a great idea. He asked about support material. It's an idea that seems very simple, the idea of having two materials, and one could dissolve away. The implementation, not trivial. <laughs> And, uh, and, and we are currently, you may notice I have a flat part on my head. I'm just banging my, my head against that, that barrier, but we're going to break through. Okay, uh, if you'd like to join me, I'm going to go back over there, fire these things up, and uh, should be, we'll, 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 we'll start blazing a trail into the personal manufacturing future. Thank you all for coming.